Hello, hello, hello. Right, so this is a Boolean operation inside Blender with Cycles rendering. So you need to set up um, a few things. So this is this ball here is going to be my cutter object, and this wall is what it's going to go and cut through. So at the moment we've got um, it's a sphere. Hello. I'm going to put on draw all edges and wire, so we can see what we're looking at. Actually, don't need all edges. Put wire on, and then I'm going to hit transparency, so it makes it see-through in the viewport. Um, I can switch off wire for the moment as well. If I just push through frame by frame using my cursor keys, you can see it's starting to cut through the geometry. And eventually it'll cut through to the other side. You'll see it here, it's cut through to the other side. You'll see it pop through. Let's let it update. There we go. So, there you go. This is it. So, um, regarding the... Um, you need the surface of the cutting object to be transparent, which it is. Um, in the property panel, is this property page? Don't know. The object page. Turn off visible to camera so we can't see it. So, I don't want to be able to see it to camera. Um, we don't want it to be diffuse, glossy, shadows. Don't want any shadows casting or anything like that. And to be completely invisible. And then, so all these guys get turned off. And then in the material, it just needs to be a transparent BSDF. Just plug that in. That's basically that. Regarding the object we're cutting through, just going to select him. So in the modify panel, I have, let's just close some of these down for a minute. I've got, um, it's a Boolean um, modifier. And I'm choosing the sphere as the cutter. So you choose what you want it to be the cutter. So I'm going to say it's a sphere. And the type of uh, thing we're doing is union, which not sure that's sort of right. Or it should be like subtraction, but we don't have a subtraction here. So I've tried all three, and sort of union seems to be doing it. Basically, join them together. Uh, I don't want intersect. We want union. Okay, so that gives us. If you turn these guys off, that gives us um, this basically. Um, which is not too bad. I've got a few little render errors around here. I don't quite like the look of. The other thing is um, the cutting object, the sphere, which is here. I have told to have desperately trying to find it. Uh, it's smooth shading, yeah, rather than flat shading. Although you know what, flat shading might actually be a better option if we didn't want to do the next thing. So we say smooth shading and then whatever it cuts into will add some smooth shading to it. And that's the resolution we're currently playing with of what the uh, sphere is as it cuts through. Anyway, back to the object that's being cut. Um, so this is the wall. So I've then added a remesh to add some divisions on it. Uh, maybe a good idea or not, I think it was. And then on the remesh options, I've just got it as an octree depth of 5 scale of 0.9 and it's set to smooth we can have it as sharp or whatever sharp doesn't look so good if looking on top of this render doesn't look so nice there does it but smooth looks better okay and that sort of fixes most of the things and then after that i have a subsurf modifier which then adds a bit of wash to it and we've got a view of three subdivisions and then optimal display basically takes it down from millions and billions of polygons into something a bit more usable. Um, yeah, and there you go. The only other problem we have on this at the moment is when I actually cut completely through. So I'm closing the back of this. I'll turn this around here. When I'm pulling away from this, you see the objects coming out. At a certain point, it will pop. So that's all cool here. Let's just go one frame at a time. There, it's cool. And then pop, it does this. But all we need to do that is at the render time, that basically that frame, next frame, yeah, this frame here. Um, all I need to do is go into, um, just select this guy. There we go. Go to the next frame. And then all I need to do is switch this off. And we get back our wall again and just carry on. So just render as frames. 
And uh, yeah, woohoo! There you go. That's about it, really. Um, yeah, that's it. Easy, isn't it? So uh, you make a cutting object. You need to make the cutting object, so the cutter, um, invisible to the camera. Don't cast shadows, and then give it a transparent or transparent um, shader. If I select him here, so I have a transparent BSDF. Um, and then yeah, that's sort of it, really. So it basically works. Woohoo! Um, we can turn that back on again now. So turn this guy back on. So just viewing the viewport, and you can see it cuts through. Epicness. There you go. Right. Um, that sort of concludes that, doesn't it? Let's uh, go to here, and uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Cheers. Bye.